I think in the process, we're all constantly rewriting each other. And nothing is in the final film that we don't all sign off on. Mm -hmm. If there's something I think is hilarious and I see he's not getting any traction with Julie and Ethan, it just it goes. You've heard of those comedy writing rooms where if the whole room doesn't laugh, they yeah. throw out the joke. Mm -hmm. We're our own version of that. Mm -hmm. Like if someone will come in with an agenda, all three of us will come in with things that are on our mind, things that we want to express, things, and some of it sticks to the other two, and some just goes yep. away. And, and we've all learned to drop that stuff because mm -hmm. you can't shoehorn it in. Mm -hmm. And then the dynamic, too, between them, and I wanted this for the very first film. The film before this, I'd made a very male film. Dazing and Views kind of slants toward the, the young men. And mm -hmm. I said, I really want to make one as much as possible that's male and female. Mm -hmm. That, you know, it's not from his point of view or her point of view. It's good we all listen to each other, but I feel like because I'm the only woman in the room when we work, they both listen to me maybe more than a usual kind of co-writing. I think we always end up having a, the three of us agreeing on what we're doing. It's kind of a good balance to have three people because it's not two people arguing. It's been a really magical dynamic all three times. Sometimes it gets down to simple like details, word choices. I don't like that word. Could mm -hmm. it be this word? Yeah. And sometimes it's super thematic. I remember like we would be working on a, the final scene of Before Midnight and I'd go for a walk and come back and say, I, I now know what needs to happen in this scene. And, and I'd say it to Rick and Julia and they'd be like, that's not good, but you're <laughs> right that something's wrong there. Yeah. And I like that you yeah. are feeling that way because that means she could say that and they'll be like, oh yeah, that's what I meant. Mm -hmm. and, and so ideas that are okay quickly get revised twice. Yeah, 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 right. Or I particularly have a tendency to overwrite and they're great to kind of come in and go, okay, let's cut the first two pages out of that and cut the last page, but that there's a- You've see, done that where you actually handed me, here's like <laughs> a ton of pages, just- Yeah, do yeah, yeah, you, like, I, you know. Editor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just to see if there's some good lines. <laughs> but I, and you know, Julie, this really stems from your level of honesty all the time. Is it, it's just, Julie's 100% straightforward. Mm -hmm. I like that, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. And that is, so wonderful to not spend two hours. We, we cut work. through it so quickly. Yeah. You have yeah. an idea or a joke and we'll look at each other and this is where we, we go beyond like not trying, we can't really hurt each other's feelings, just yeah. being honest. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll say something that I think is maybe an Ethan will say, I think I've seen that before. Is, it, is, that, mm. are you just, yeah. is that original? Have yeah. we heard this before anywhere? Mm. Is it, eh, just drop it. It shouldn't be in our movie. That's the only way we're able to do those films, really. You know, you can fight for an idea, but if it doesn't talk to the two others, you know, eventually it's dropped, you know. And unless it's an idea that you'll fight all the way through, but I, I don't think we've ever had that fully.